Hello, it's Helder here, and today I wanted to go ahead and review these men's Ipari Hana shoes made by Zero Shoes. I've uh, had the pleasure of reviewing a few pairs of uh, Zero Shoes over the years and also seeing the company grow, uh, their attention to detail, their uh, strive to always listen to their customers, uh, keeps them going, keeps them growing, and uh, it shows in the quality of their products. And uh, these Ipari Hanas are no different. So let me go into a little bit more detail on uh, why I really do like these shoes. Now what always stands out to me about these Zero Shoes are the soles, uh, their minimalist approach. So uh, Zero Shoes, it started out with various sandal uh, type shoes and uh, realized that uh, there was a need for a uh, closed shoe. And this is their first attempt at that and a uh, pretty good one. Now the soles on these Zero Shoes are 5.5 uh, millimeter. Uh, so more than enough protection there. Uh, but at the same time, it has a zero drop, which basically means there's no lift in the back. Uh, as you can tell with a lot of modern sports shoes, there's uh, what I call high heels. So you never have that really good posture, never really feeling the ground, uh, never really knowing uh, what position you should be in as far as your posture because uh, you have lifts in your shoes. And that's one of the main reasons why I'm a big uh, fan of minimalist footwear. And uh, these shoes are no different. The uh, cool thing about them now, as opposed to just wearing sandals, is that you have some extra protection. Uh, so those of us that are focused on preparedness, that uh, want to utilize these as mat shoes or gym shoes, uh, they uh, fit the bill. Because now you have the, uh, the enclosure and still being able to take advantage of the uh, minimalist approach. These shoes have a uh, canvas upper and a uh, microfiber lining. Uh, they are also uh, vegan friendly, so no animal products. And you can tell how easily they fold up. Uh, for those of us that are always worried about having uh, shoes out in the field and being able to stow them away in your uh, bag, uh, these really take the guesswork out of it uh, because you can tell how easily they do fold up. Lacing system on these is also great. Uh, really works well, cinches everything down, uh, whether you're wearing socks, not wearing socks. Once again, my, my primary use uh, that I have for these is uh, as mat shoes. Uh, they work out really well for me, whether I'm doing kettlebell work, martial art work, uh, body weight work, uh, doesn't matter the texture uh, that, is, uh, that my mat's in. I have various textures on the floor uh, in my dojo. And once again, uh, this shoe seems to work great on, uh, on all surfaces. These shoes come in three different colors. I'll put all the details in the blog post, so make sure that you check that out on uh, coachholder.com, as well as uh, links two previous reviews that I did for Zero, Zero Shoes where I go more into the technology and uh, why minimalist shoes in general are a preference and a mainstay uh, for my lifestyle. So bottom line, if you're looking for a uh, minimalist shoe that's uh, lightweight, folds up easily uh, to go into your go bag, so whether you're in the field, uh, whether you're casually wearing them out with a pair of jeans, uh, they have a nice wide uh, feature also as far as the uh, front here, so those of us with wide feet uh, you have that extra comfort. Make sure that you use the uh, sizing chart that is on the Zero Shoes website so that you get a good fit. And uh, at the same time, the price point is pretty good. You get their 5,000 mile warranty on the shoe, which is pretty hard to beat. So if you are in the market for a minimalist shoe, take a serious look at these Zero Shoes. I don't think that you'll be disappointed. This is Helder. I hope that you enjoyed this review.